Hi all today in this video we'll talk about the do's and don'ts of plastering but before that let us quickly know what is home plastering Plastering is the process of beautifying and protecting your walls and ceiling from any kind of external damage due to various climatic conditions in this process a thin cement mortar is applied to cover and flatten the exposed surfaces So let's get into the do's and don'ts that you must definitely consider while plastering your new home. First let's talk about the do's of plastering. Number 1 uniform volume. The volume of ingredients should be maintained constant throughout. Suppose you are using one bag of cement and three bags of sand that is in the ratio of 1 is to 3 then this consistent ratio should be maintained throughout for getting the optimum bonding and strength. Moving on to the second point right thickness in case of external plastering 15 to 22 mm of thickness is preferred and thickness of 12 mm for internal plastering a plumb bob is a level checking tool which is used to check the vertical levels of the wall point number 3 proper curing while curing plastered walls ensure the walls should stay wet and not brown if excess water seeps in it can quickly soften or loosen the plaster If the moisture sits on the flat surface for too long, it can cause water damage to your plastered walls and can even cause mold growth which negatively impacts the air quality of home. And coming to the last point, trowel action. The trowel angle should maintain a thickness of 10 mm to get the flatness. If it crosses beyond 10 mm, then the trowel has the tendency to scrape the plastered surface easily. Now moving on to don'ts of plastering. Number 1, say no to large volume. Don't prepare large batches of cement mortar as the cement mortar can last up to only 30 to 45 minutes. If left unused for a while, there could be a water loss in the mortar due to cement hydration or evaporation. Number 2, no additional water. Excess water in your cement mortar can cause shrinkage problems which can lower the strength of your wall. Generally water is added to get the correct workability but adding extra water after the mortar has dried up is usually not recommended. Number 3 avoid plaster joints. While plastering ensure there are no gaps or missed portions left out which will require joint work because joint work can lead to easy flaking due to extreme weather conditions. Number 4 don't aim for smoothness. Yeah you heard it right. In case of plastering you should focus on making the surface flat rather than focusing on making the surface smooth because making a smooth surface will not help with the final finish So getting a flat surface will ensure the final painting coat looks smooth and even Number 5 strict no to thick final coats Thick consistency for the final coat of the plastered surface should be avoided It can have thick yogurt like consistency which will increase the workability for the laborers. So you can spread the final coating of the plastering with less effort and the thickness should not cross 2 mm. So that's a wrap on today's content. We hope to see you with an interesting topic next time. We are 100 pillars constructions. Build right. Live smart.